This is Cyclocross Magazine with Logan Owen. Get a strong fourth place finish out there. How'd it go? It was alright. I mean, I didn't get what I expected to get and what I, what I felt like I could have gotten today. I had some trouble at the beginning of the race. Uh, I had a bad start, then I moved up again. Yeah. Then I got crashed out in the first turn, or yeah. the second turn. And uh, had to battle back from like 25th. And right. And I, in the last couple laps, just had had some mechanical issues. And, I mean, after overcoming all that, I think a fourth place is really. I'm super happy with it. I, I'm not happy with it, right. but I'm happy with what I did to get there. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the crowd was great. I mean, yeah. it was so motivating to have everyone out here yelling for me and cheering me on. It was. Right. I, I really appreciate it to all the fans out there. That was awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's. Next year, next year I'm gonna be coming hard. And yeah. Hopefully, as the first year to do 23, I can do something special. Maybe get a top five again or top ten. I'd be really happy with that at Worlds, awesome. in the World Cup. So, how does this crowd compare to the European crowds? I honestly think this was better than Worlds last year. I think, right. I think the uh, crowds were just so much louder. Yeah. Um, than the Belgian crowds. The Belgians kind of like look at you and watch you. And they cheer for their one yeah, favorite. They, they cheer for their one favorite, but it's I've never like even watching on TV. I've never seen like a big uproar like it is every time right. people are coming through here it's just it's a great atmosphere here and it's, right. it's awesome I mean so this was probably the coolest experience I've ever had at a cycle cross race that's awesome we tweeted out that it was the loudest crowd we've ever heard so yeah, definitely. that's definitely impressive so tell us a little bit about the start was it just a little nerves or no I thought confusing like, lighting I yeah the lighting I thought it was one I thought it was one light earlier right. than what it was right. so I went as soon as I saw like as soon as I saw anything appear on that screen right. I just like went right and I like and it was the green one was right after that one right. so as I stopped yeah everybody went swarmed so you got swarmed and I, but the, the real problem was uh was after that was when I got crashed out because I was I moved back up to fifth so right. I could I could have dealt with that but yeah. coming for 25th was more difficult yeah that's a good that's a good yeah. now now when that when the German ran into you, did you hit the deck too? Yeah. Oh, I went down so hard. That's why I went all the way back to 25th. I see. So I mean, after battling back from that, it just it was just disappointing to like come back and know that I could have just drop because I, I started to drop those guys that right. I got got into the third group with, and it yep. just having those mechanical issues is really heartbreaking. And right. I mean, but that's bike racing. I mean, right. I, I got third in the World Cup overall. Yeah. I'm still second in the UCI points. I mean, right. it's been a really good year. I, good. I can't. I don't have any complaints about anything this year. I mean, it's been a really good year. I mean, the fourth place isn't exactly what I wanted. I mean, right. I really wanted the podium. Yeah. Um, and possibly the win, which I think was. I, I can't wait to see the lap times. Yeah. My lap times were definitely either just as fast as Vanderpool's right. or definitely second fastest. Yeah. And I mean. It just kind of shows you like how much how much I really wanted to win it, how how much I tried to come back. And, right. So. So you're the kind of guy that will take that into the lap times and study them and analyze oh, them. I'll study it. Oh yeah, I'll look yeah. at them and be like, okay, well yeah, here's where here's where the problems were. Right. Here's my lap times, and I mean, I it's next year is gonna be a good year, I think. Uh, for, even though I'm gonna be a first year U23. Right. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. I think I can do something really special in the World Cups and right. challenge uh, Vanderpool next year. I'm, I'm going to be training, training my butt off. I mean, right. I train. I started training so much harder after last World. Yep. Now, I mean, it's obviously uh, showing, and uh, I'm just going to keep training harder and harder until I, until I get uh, can finally win. So this is only fuel for the fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No Great. dessert tonight. Not, yeah. Not, not after this. So. Wow. Yeah. No dessert. No. Nope, no. Nope going after it. Awesome. And so next year, I mean, as a U23, you'll get to race a lot of the pro races. Are you excited to battle against, you know, some oh, of the yeah. top Americans? Yeah, I'll be excited to battle with Powers and yep. Dave and all those guys. I mean, I, I know those guys from racing with them on the road. Right. Um, and hopefully I have a really good road season this year. I, I'm right. really hoping to do something really, really special for us well, right. uh, in the road. I mean, I think I, I think the course is going to suit me really well. And, uh, right. I tend I tend to do well on the road, as, uh, so we'll see. Awesome. When you already talked about next year World Championships at Cyclocross, I guess that answers the question. You're staying committed to Cyclocross. I I think the next couple of years I'll be in Cyclocross and road, both both right. uh, fully gunning for for both seasons, and 
until I really need to choose, then I'll finally make a decision. But as of right now, I, I love racing both, and it, I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. I mean, right. it's pretty cool. So. I know all the Cyclocross Magazine fans want you to stay in the sport, so keep oh, it, <laughs> keep with it. Yeah, yeah, I will. Thanks so much, Logan. All right.